Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the new, well, to race 7 of my NR2003 Owner Mode series. We are here at the Cleveland, uh, well, we're here at the, uh, Burke Lake, Lakefront Airport here in Cleveland, Ohio for the Ohio GP. So, let's go to the last race we ran at. Bristol. 42, 41 cars started. Seventeenth finished. Jeff Burton won by uh, leading the most laps. We had a front row lockout that ended up with both our cars taking each other out late. And we'll go into a qualifying and whatnot. I've done limited test counts check, so this will either be a fun one or a absolute mon well absolute issue. Drivers to your cars. So and also Bill Elliott will be missing this race and possibly the next one due to injury. Injury sustained during the uh, Bristol chaotic mess. So. Drivers to your cars. Mark Martin was there and pull. So now we got there's the thing. Where are our guys starting? Oh, here we go. Here's actually one of the guys. Here's actually the guy replaced. Young sports car driver Michael McDowell will be making his cup debut in an all-black Dodge dealer's car. Not bad for Sam Horse Jr. Four sets up in there. Ken Schrader and Mark Martin will start on the front row. So some cars had issues during the qualifying run, hence why we did not get any start up front. Oh, it looks like Dave Blaney was the last guy without any issues. So, yeah. I know we did not look at the uh, start. Well, at the uh, point things before this race started. Yeah, oh well. My cars are actually here. 42 cars. Also, I am aware that uh, in the video there is a audio delay. Well, I, 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 I actually forget if it's the audio that's behind by a couple seconds or if it's the video. Either way, I am sorry. But here we go. Cars line up. Side by side, through the, this little chicane. But we are green here at Cleveland for NASCAR's first trip to the Ohio GP. Pack rumbles off through one and two. I just see McDowell making moves up front. It was actually uh, my buddy Toby's idea to put Michael McDowell in. I was actually initially going to think about putting Casey in for a few races. Here we go. Down through this little 
technical section. And just packs rumbling through. Mark Martin, Lee Dale Jr., Tony Stewart, Robbie Gordon, Ryan Newman, Ken Schrader drop from si second down to six. Here comes McDowell. He's going to make a run, uh, run at it. McDowell did start 26. Let's see here. Where does he come out at? Making moves, sliding that car around. McDowell's up to 23rd. Orange is up to 25th. AJ Omendinger dropped to 20 knots. But with this being a 25 lap race, this should actually end up, if we go caution free, this could end up being a decently short event. But here we go. Drives around the outside of 25 and even check. Gonna keep up with Andretti. Get the crossover on the inside and it's gonna have the preferred lane into this next corner as three wide up ahead ooh and Dre actually fought around the outside there's all sorts of passing up there this could be a fun little racetrack to see later down the line here we go down through the final corner Gonna make a move. Where does where does AJ try to peek? He's gonna stick to the inside of Andretti down into turn one. Does he get will he try to get Ward Burton too? No. Andretti's gonna overshoot turn one significantly. He's gonna try to actually make his move around the outside work to an extent and he's actually going to defend around the outside. Mark Martin still leads. I, I just, okay, so yeah, Jeff Burton in this race, I just had to double check. Here we go, rolling through, off it, off that corner, down into this heavy braking zone. We got several rookies, oh, contact, car in the wall, two straight around. Four cars, big pile up. Big wreck. Down in the turn. Down late in the lap. Caution will fly. Several cars involved. Let's get a replay of that. That. So Andretti tried to get underneath McDowell, gets checked up, AJ comes in and just absolutely finishes him. Ward Burton got into the back of the 74 of AJ, who then gets, does not get clipped by Jeff Gordon somehow. Name check just ends the 43 and then Kenzo comes out of nowhere and just hits him and Johnny ooh the zero of Benson also finishes the job so Kenzo Benson and Nemechek all are involved let's hop on board see what the 11 car saw trying to avoid this rack rolling to the 
rolls through the scene. She finds the gap, tries to take it. Oh, clips the rear of this. Well, clips the rear end of the 74 car. So the top on board back live. Jack Sprague is we're still running. Who's not running? The 10, the 25, and the 17. So, you know, that's kind of expected. So here, who's coming? Ooh, nobody's coming in for pit. Who's gonna come in for pit stop? Yeah, 43 is gonna come on in. So this is gonna be a fun race. So now as we roll through the so now as Bodine is gonna try to catch up to the pack. Pace car's gonna come in this time. Bodine won't be back with the pack in time. Ace car's rolling at a nice, easy 55. They're about a decent way. Bodine may catch the back of this pack. But he's gonna have fresh tires that are hot. That are pretty warm. Probably make a move work. I see. Yeah, I mean, I could see the tail end of this pad. There's spray right there. The design may just get back to the tail end of the pack. I will hop on board with AJ on the dinger for this next race. Well, for this restart. Because we're green. Here's the pack rumbling down into turn number one. The most famous turn here at the Cleveland Airport Circuit. So, here we go. They survived the turn one melee. Side by side. Ooh. They're underneath a Mayfield for position. That's impressive. Down series of corners. Ooh! He. AJ has to slide to avoid a crash. I believe we're back under. gonna be back under caution. Yes, we are. I saw a black car slide into it. Oh, it was McDowell. So now we're going to rewind this footage, see what exactly happened. 
same situation. Oh, Jeff Green is absolutely kamikaze Tim and Skinner slightly clipped the front end of the nine car. Hey for rookie, this is not a This isn't a bad thing. It's just racing. Corners. Greg Biffle leads the rookie of the year contenders with a uh, 21st place run right now. Mark Martin does lead though. So impressive. Oh, contact under caution. So, let the cars bunch back up. We're gonna have a, a, a what, 16 laps to go at the line? Like 16 laps when we go back green? This would be Mark Martin's first win on Roker since 97. Here we go. Pace car is going to come in this time by. We will have 16 to go, I believe. 16, 17 to go. So, we're going to hop on board. Oh, Michael McDowell's actually still trying to catch back up to the pack. My Skinner. There's John Andretti. It looks like Andre is going to be the last car not involved in a kerfuffle. Down to the final turn. And we're green. Here we go, down into turn number one. Oh, 
Terry Zavani got a little swirly around the outside. Down through it, down this little straightaway. Dirty Joseph Block. There we go, down this second little straight, this other little straightaway. Oh, Terry got a little sideways. I think we're still good. No, we're under caution. We got two, three, four cars around. God, Wimmer came in hot. AJ Allmendinger may be involved. Yep, yeah, he just came in. Stalled the wreck. Okay, locked it down to avoid the main chaos. Now, let's go investigate Mark Martin's incident. Uh, let's just clip the 23. And the 30 came in and just cleaned them out. So we have a one trouble corner. And yeah, I could see it being a issue. But hey, this is a great track for passing. It is wide, it is fast. I mean, she before the first caution, the average race speed was well over 100 miles an hour. Um, Mark Martin just passed the base guard. Huh. That is interesting. There we go. Ooh, Tony Stewart giving Mark a bump. Tempers could start over, could be flaring before this race is even over. Everyone's all here. The current top rookie is going to be... Could be the 82? Let's find out. Yep. 21st for Sam Morris Jr. That's, he's our top rookie of the year contender right now. So we'll come to the line with 14 to go. Now well, we're almost halfway. 
Which, you know, if we could actually get a couple more laps in under green. Like, look at that. Fastest laps are in the 117. Caution laps are in the 2 minute 20. You do the math. Drive past the FedEx, uh, call it, well, the FedEx hangar, and now past the Pepsi can. Pace car come, the field comes to a crawling speed. Pace car's off. And we're green. Before we even got to the line, Terry Levine is going to go try to get past Brett Bodine. Here we go, side by side, down into turn number one. Brett's going to try to carry some momentum around the outside to get past Texas Terry. They're still going to remain side by side. Down into turn number two. If you want is going to try to keep it up with him up into turn number three. Terry's going to pull. Sather's going to get around him. Down to turn number four. I don't know what caused the lag right there. Off of turn number five. Down to troublesome turn six. Let's see here. Does everyone survive? Yes! We are still green. Down into turn number seven. Oh, just got one where you kiss the outside wall. That's going to lead to AJ squeaking by. AJ Almondinger comes into the pit lane. Could this be a scheduled stop? Oh, Tony Stewart leads. Mark Martin went from 1st to 5th. Sam Martin Jr. is going to ease up to P18. Will he make a move? Seven got a little swirly. Down into it, the corner. Off the off the five. Down into turn number six. Caution is out actually. Oh, Texas Terry and somebody else got into it bad. Texas Terry, Mike Skinner, they're both off to, in the next county. NASCAR's not going to be too happy with the two of them. Let's find out what happened to Skinner. Skinner and Texas Terry. No, we're going to do a lot of rewinding. Oh! So, Texas Terry and Biffle got tangled up in turn 4, off of turn 4. Skinner comes over, and Texas Terry goes up and over. That's... Interesting. As he went over and yeah, so the 30 car is out.
It's all set up so. Oh, it's all AJ. That's cool. Now, if the pack rumbles, well, the pack's gonna be. Enemy turn 7. I think Skinner's out. Yep, Mike Skinner's retired his car. Texas Terry may retire the car too. He did roll. Which is interesting. Oh. Yeah, Texas Terry's still by himself. Pace car is actually on the front stretch. There's Texas Terry. Mark Martin is going from first to six on the restart. So, he's. Um, can someone explain to me what Harvick's doing? Harvick just wanted to run a crazy line again. Uh, okay. Sounds like going on with Harvick. Maybe NASCAR told him to give up all the spots he gained? Taking out count. That car may have issues. So, let's hop on board. Caution lights are out. Let's hop on board with the 82 for a restart. He's ahead of the points leader. Okay, down into the final turn. Harvick's coming in. And we are back green here at Cleveland. The pack's gonna run, run off into turn one. Down into it. Off of one. Heavy braking in the turn two. Texas Terry's running. He was, he rolled once and only lost the lap. Hmm. What happened to any other team? That car is, they just take it back to the garage and get ready to load her up. Here we go.
Fastest lap under green? Not bad. We got eight laps to go. Ooh! Two, three cars, four cars around! That was an issue. The caution will come out. I believe. Yeah, caution did come out. So Kurt Busch dives into the pit lane. Eighty two oh Hornish had issues. Oh, he just got loose and killed that wall. Rusty wall list slows down. Sadler does not know. Absolutely takes them both around. Then Biffle's okay. Then McDowell comes around, and just takes him out. Then Brett seeing the car spin in front just locks it down. Texas Terry just gives him a light nudge. So, we got eight to go. Let's see, where's the pace car at? Yep. So, it just honestly seems like the cars just don't have... It just seems like the damaged cars just don't have enough grip to keep them from sliding as much. And... They just get caught up in it. This is an indie car based circuit. So Here we go. Now, we're going to hit the line with seven to go, so we could receive the restart with six. So. A couple cars have retired from the race.
So now it's working. Guys, don't know what the dogs are barking at. Sorry, guys. So now. Here we go. Mark Martin started on pole. Let's for pretty much the first half of the entire race, then drop back to. It's now drop back to eight on the last two restarts. Just a little bit of damage Tony Stewart gave him really pays cost him in the long run. Here we go. Who's gonna win it, people? Could Ken Schrader pull off the upset? And we are back racing here at Cleveland. The pack's slowly rolling off its bonk ones. There we go. Here we go, Kurt Busch is going to split these guys three wide. There's a couple cars running wide up there. Hey, Texas Terry can finish this race one lap down after rolling the vehicle. That would be a, a great day for him. Like a great recovery. So now rolls to the pack. Sliding up, there we go, down this straight away. Careful, boys. Michael Waltrip. Not there, so here we go. We're, we only got five ish laps to go. Four sets hunting down for possible top five. Dale Jr.'s winning over Newman and Tony Stewart. Can Ken Schrader could come out of here with a P4. That's interesting. Yeah, here we go. Down and let's see here. I think this is gonna be like eight and nine. Yes, it's so eight and nine. Dale Jr. is gonna lead us with four, not four. Yeah, four laps to go. Cruising by himself. AJ Allmendinger's had a rough day. Yeah, was not really expecting this team to have that bad of a day. Especially since we dominated the first road course race. Just we just got caught back in traffic and just could not make anything happen. Now, we gonna roll through here. Now, yeah, 
Yep. Pack's gonna come to three laps to go. This is still been a pretty short race. Nice to caution. Dale Jr. Hit the three to go mark. If we get a caution, it will end the race. Here we go. Down into turn number one. We'll hop on board this battle for the win. Ooh, Strader actually dropped, made him drop back to fifth. Yep. Ken Strader, top five, not bad. Now, let's hop on board the TV cams. Down through the, down into turn six. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to come, is going to be ready to come take the two to, well, two to go at the line. Here we go. Caution will end it. So now off at turn number nine, I think. It's like nine or ten. So down into turn number one. Runs it out there. So there's a little kink now it's heavy breaking into turn number two. Turn three. Dare's turn four. Rolling off at turn number five. Down this second part of this straightaway. Down into turn six. All by himself. Newman's over a second back. Caution's out! This will end the race. So turn eight. Off of turn number nine. Dale Jr. is going to receive the white and yellow together. Dale Jr. will take the lead. Will lead. Will probably win this race. Let's try to see where that, what brought out the caution. I'm not, I'm trying to fix that. Now. Okay. I'm literally trying to figure out what brought out the caution, so we're gonna hop on board the pace car. Found it! Don't tell me. It was Biffle. Sliding through the corner is what brought out the caution. But here we go. Down to turn six for the final time. Dale Jr. Had a dominant was not the most dominant driver all day, but he took the lead when it counted, and he is only two turns away from victory. As long as that car can remain under its own power, Dale Jr. will win.
Here we go. Off through eight. Off a turn number nine. Ooh, Newman gave him a little shove. Dale Jr. will take the checker flag to win here at Cleveland. Newman second, Tony Surge. Craven will bring him fourth. Dale Jarrett fifth. Ken Schrader sixth. Martin seventh. Nadu eighth. Ricky Rudd will round out nine. Kyle Petty top ten. Robbie Gordon eleven. Jeff Gordon twelve. Steve Park thirteen. Fourteen goes to Dave Blaney. Fifteen goes to Boris Said. Sixteen will go to Jimmy Johnson. Seventeenth to Bobby Labonte. Eighteenth to Mayfield. Nineteenth to Jeff Burton. Thirty fifth will go to Jack Sprague. Uh, he finished the lockdown. 20th will go to Hermie Sather. 21st to Kenny Wallace. 22nd to Jimmy Spencer. 23rd to Rusty Wallace. 24th to Michael Walsh. 25th to Elliot Sather. 26th to Scott Weber. 27th to AJ Almending. 28th will go to Ward Burton. 29th to Greg Biffle. 30th will go to Sam Horace Jr. 31st will go to John Andretti's. 32nd will go to Michael McDowell. Let's say 6. So 33rd will go to Brad Bodine. 34th will go to Kurt Busch. 35th will go to Sprague. 36th will go to Kevin Harvick. And 37th and last will go to Texas Terry. So. That's the race. Watch your ears, race fans. This could be loud. So, let's view the point standings. Jeff Burton's points lead did shrink to 70 points over Dale Jr. AJ Allmendinger will drop down to 20th in points. Bill Elliott missing a race drops to uh, 30th. Hornish finally passes, finally passed uh, the 90 car for 40 second. And Michael McDowell will bring it home with, yeah, not bad, 67 points. Matt Kenta. It's it's a shocker to see how terrible Kenseth's season's been. Kenseth won the title this season, but in real life, but can only muster thirty fourth right now. Hmm. Oh well. But in race, ladies and gentlemen, as y'all have already seen, next stop is Talladega. Hope I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.